we just decided, since we're looking so good, we're going to do a nice video. Yeah, you guys are looking really good. This is my little flock of Sebastopol geese. They're a heritage goose from Russia, or at least from the Black Sea region. Yeah. I have three ganders and five females this year, and in the spring it'll all change because we'll have a bunch of eggs and babies. We have beautiful goslings every spring. But classic Sebastopols are covered in long, curly feathers. And like most geese, they don't have a feather shaft running down the middle of the most feathers. So that's why the feathers fall and drape. They look so pretty. They look like they're wearing their wedding dresses. Good huh, girls. You like when I tell you how pretty you are? You listening? Yeah? Such pretty girls. Sebastopols for about four years now, maybe five years now, and um, this was the year we came to an understanding. My life has become so much nicer, and so is theirs, ever since we decided to stop fencing in the geese. They just free range, and that means in the morning I let them out this little gate from the backyard into the front yard and they spend their whole day between the water buckets here in our yard and our neighbor Ted Nallison's yard. We have a big three acre meadow and we graze our sheep out there with an electronet so the geese will go out and surround the sheep all day and spend time with them. They're so beautiful. You think sheep are white and then you see Sebastopol geese and this is like as pure white as you get on the farm. And they look so pretty. There they go. Gonna go spend some time in the meadow. Bye girls, have a nice day grazing. I used to try to fence them in the front yard every day and every day it was like a puzzle. They would try to solve how to get out of the fence and it drove us both crazy. And then one day I was like, you know, I'll just take down the fence and see what they do. And they never cross the street. They're not aggressive. Common misconception that geese are aggressive. Some are, depends on how they're handled. But my geese are like a bunch of sweet doves. We have a beautiful little dance that we do every morning and every evening. To keep them safe, I have them protected at night. I'll show you. There they are. They're out. <laughs> but every morning, I let them out this gate. This goes out to the front yard. And I'll show you where they sleep. Behind the barn. At night, they run through here. They know where they're getting their dinner. They're just like sheep. They have a really strong herd mentality. So they run through here. And this is my goose run. At night, during the day, it's overtaken by ducks and chickens. So the duckies sleep right now are meat ducks, but the goose run is just a nice fenced in little enclosure, nice and safe. And then it has their little goose house, which is just, you know, you know me, nice and salvage style, but that's where they spend their nights if it's really cold or if it's dark or if it's raining and scary, they sleep in here. And then they come out in the morning. And it's never closed because, you know, you can't close in geese. They don't like it. So that's the story of my Sebastopols. Thanks for listening. Maybe I'll do ducks next.